It looks French. Sounds French. Well, maybe not when I say it, but I'm pretty sure it's French. So feeling pretty good today. And I decided that I'm going to just plow into the art since it's in my front room and it's here and I can deal with it and I can put it on Cherish first. I'll deal with eBay later. I love Cherish for art because I can just drop it off at a UPS store and have them pack it up and ship it away. And that for me works really well right now under the circumstances. So. The problem I'm running into is that I don't really have a good place to take pictures of the bigger art. So I'm gonna work on my smaller pieces first. And uh, I'm looking over at the wall right now where I found one little spot where I can hang something. Let me show you what i am got going here. So <clears throat> I have this one little spot here where I can take pictures. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, and this is the first one I'm starting with. So once I take the pictures of this, I am going to screenshot um, the process of listing this on Cherish. Let's go. So, <clears throat> I'm using square mode so that I can get as much of this in there as possible, like so. Then I'm going to take close-ups of the signature, close-ups of different parts of the painting, and then the tricky part is that I have to get the back side too. So that makes it a little more difficult, but called make and do, make and do, stay, we're making do, getting the back side, and there's some writing on the back of this, Robin Peniches-Jean-Pierre Polhorn, I don't know, it looks French, Sounds French. Well, maybe not when I say it, but I'm pretty sure it's French. But that's it. I got my pictures now. Now I'm gonna go get this bad boy listed. So now I'm going to just plug my little USB cable here into my phone to transfer those pictures on to my computer so that we can get them onto the listing. I need a faster computer. That's my dream. My dream is a lightning fast computer that does all this download stuff. Is there such a thing? Am I dreaming or is that like a reality? Can that happen? Like where it's like boom, boom, it just happens. I don't know. If it doesn't exist, it should. I'm just saying. done now transfer to over here I got this new software to uh, record my screen as I'm doing stuff so this will be my first time trying this so I am gonna put this art over on cherish because cherish um, is like the easiest place to sell the art for me anyway. It's because it's where the designers are. It's where there are people spending other people's money to decorate. That's always a really good thing. Uh, so I'm, I'm signed into my account already. So once you have your account set up and you're signed in, then you just select this little sell an item. I'm going to sell an item. Now I'm not going to work on my drafts there. We'll get rid of those. All right, 
So usually what I do when I'm listing on Cherish is I first upload my photos so I can see what it is I'm working with. I mean, I, I've got it down here on the floor with me, but we're gonna, we're gonna upload our pictures and work from there. So we're gonna upload that one and we're gonna upload that one. And then we're gonna, and it can be, you know, Cherish gives you suggestions on, you know, front view, side view. You do not have to follow that. You can put them in whatever order you want. You can put whatever pictures you want. Those are simply suggestions. They can be good suggestions. Cherish does seem to know what's needed on their site, but you do want to add as many pictures as possible. Now I don't remember if I added that one yet. Hmm. I think I, did I? Let's look. Is that a repeat? Come on. Let's go. Where are you? I got that one. I got that one. Oh, yeah, that's the same. Wait, is it? No, it looks a little different. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. What other one did I forget? Let's see. Come on. Was there one more? Oh. Is it that one? Or, you know what? Let me just put this one again and see if that's the repeat. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And. Uh, that's the repeat one. Okay. So then I just take that one back off of there. Okay. So now I can see what I'm working with. So this signature looks like it says JP. O U B O R O. But on the back, it's Jean Pierre. And then it looks like F U L H O R D. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a site that I use for art called askart.com. And there's a paid version and a free version. You can get a lot of basic information through the free version. Uh, so I'm going to go with Jean Pierre. Whoops, since we know it's Jean Pierre, and I'm going to see, huh? And it's going to show me, no, that's not the same. Mm -mm -mm. Well, shoot, that's not, well, that's kind of. Oh, Jean-Pierre Francois. Ooh. Known. It's given me. Why? You tell me to go there, and then you won't let me put my little cursor there. That's just not right. This looks like the same style of art. Now, see. I can sign in and see more information. Because I do have a membership. And this does look like the same type of art. Now what I'm looking to see is a signature. A signature is really going to help me. And none of these are showing a signature. There's one. Is that the same signature as mine? I'm looking. It's not. It's not the same signature. So I think maybe this is not the same artist. No, I don't see a signature on that one. And then some of these, it'll actually, you can see here it's grayed out, but some of them have the signatures for you to compare, but this one does not. So I don't think mine is a listed artist, um, at least not that I can make out real good. So Jean-Pierre, gosh, I want to say that that's, I wanted to blow this up bigger. Oh, what did I do? See, I push buttons all the time that I like. I just don't even know what I'm pushing. It just loaded the same picture. Um, so we can do a Google search for Jean-Pierre Fouhard. Fou Fou Let's see what happens when I do that. Jean-Pierre F-U-H-O-L-D. Let's see what that comes up with. Let me go back. Actually, let me like look at the picture itself. Here it is. 
It's right in front of me. Because what I see, I see Duboro. I see JP Duboro on on the painting itself. Like it's JP Duboro. So let me just take a peek at the uh, let me go over here and go back. I'm gonna put in Duboro as a last name. Nothing found. So then you can just go like I might be spelling it wrong. I'm gonna go here. Do, do you hear my naughty dog? Do bar, do bar. Nope. Do both. Oh, wait, there's a Jean Pierre Dubord. Jean Pierre Dubord. Is that it? I might have found. I think it's it because look at the signature. Look at the signature. It's the same signature I found him. Yay. Okay, so I found the artist Jean Pierre Dubord. Uh, let's see. This was from an auction. It did not sell. It gives what the estimate was for that. This one sold for 350. That was a that's a that's a 16 by 14. That's a tiny little painting. Uh, this one sold for 225. This one sold for 363. This one's also an ocean scene. This one awaiting result means it's up for sale right now. Um, so this is what we call a listed artist, uh, meaning they have sold at high-end auction houses. That's just how the art world works. Um, here's one that sold for 875. This one only sold for 71. Remember, these are auctions. Um, not communicated hammer price. So quite a few pieces of this artist have sold um, at auction. Here's another ocean scene and the estimate was 832 to 951. I like that. Uh, okay. So I know I, I have no doubt in my mind that this is the same artist. Now there is um, here you can see the signatures. There it is. I can, absolutely. This is the same artist. I've just verified that. Um, they give their bio information. 1949. Uh, looks like they are still alive. They were born in 1949. Um, 1970, first exhibit. Prizes and awards, exhibitions. All right. So now we got to figure out how much I'm going to price this for. And that's Always a quandary. Um, so I know I've got Jean Pierre Dubord. So now I can change this. There we go. And you can see even on Cherish, there's going to be some in the thousands. There's some in the thousands on eBay. That's pretty exciting. I will do a quick eBay search to see what's going on 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 eBay. My eBay is just a hot mess right now. Please ignore. Do board. All right, this is what we want to see. We've got 18 results and some really naughty dogs barking downstairs. I have the front door open to let the beautiful outside fall air come in and every time somebody walks by or another dog barks in the neighborhood well they just have to do their chihuahua thing okay so we've got 18 results and I like what I see here uh, lots of them over a thousand dollars hell I'd be happy with the over 500 I'm happy with over 500 all right so let's go do a sold and see, we do have some solds, and that's exciting too. Four solds out of 18. Uh, paintings are usually a long tail item. Uh, so we got 550 for this little one. We got 370 for this harbor scene. 370. I, you know what? Okay. All right. 
So let's get this listed now. All right, so what I have is I have a Jean-Pierre Dubord, making sure I'm spelling it right, original painting. Let's see the ones that sold. How are they listed? Vintage originally, impressionist. Uh, original signed oil painting. Yeah. I don't know what the name of this painting is. Um, but what I can put is that it is a harbor scene. Harbor scene signed. All right, now with uh, Cherish, you have to select a category. And it's already assuming that what I have is a fine art painting because it sees the title, it sees what I'm listing. So we will go with that. You can add more than one. Like um, you can do like, I don't know if you can do fine art and decor. Let's see if it'll let me. Um, yeah, no, it's pretty much, that's where it wants to be. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Sometimes you can add decor piece and then you can add something else, you know, if it's multi kind of functional. All right. So it even tells you if you have writer's block, start with the basics and describe things like your items, color, construction, materials. Um, I don't like to reinvent the wheel. I'll go over and see, you know, what somebody else used, like for this little harbor scene. Let's see how they described it. Oh, they wrote it all in French, so that's not much help, is it? Um, this is probably going to be the same thing. Did you write it in all French? Of course you did. That doesn't help me. Um, let's see. On here, let me find one that's a harbor scene. This is actually on Cherish. Let's look what they said. Original oil on canvas. Painting by French artist Jean-Pierre Dubord. I don't know the title. Subject depicts the crossing. I don't know what that. You know what? So here's, and, and this is perfectly okay to do, guys. All right. I am going to copy and paste their description. Now I'm going to make it my own. But there is no reason to reinvent the wheel because they have facts on theirs that matches what I need to put. So. Original oil on canvas painting by French artist Jean-Pierre Dubord, birth 1949. I'm going to take out the title because I don't know what mine is titled. Subject depicts, I'm just going to put, oh, you know what? Hold, hold that. I know what this is because it tells me on the back. It's Rowan France. It's Rowan France. So I can leave that. Depicts a harbor scene depicts a harbor scene with boats really type in uh, in Rowan France there we go frame is wood handmade with gilt yes uh, frame size. Now I have to measure mine. I have a handy dandy little, uh, handy dandy little measuring tape here. Thank you, Rachel. And it measures, stand by, 19 by 19 by 24, 24, 19, double checking, 19 by 24, and it is an oil, and I can tell it's an oil because of the shininess of the paint, that's a characteristic of oil paintings. Uh, what did I just say, 19 by 24? Hand signed front lower right. Nope. Front lower left. J 
J.P. DeBoard titled and signed on back. Oh, is that the title on the back? I wish I really knew what that said. Rowan Panicius Inquai. Let me just put that into Google and see what that means. Panicius 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 Goodness. Panicius is it a quai? Let me just put in the quai. Quai. What does that mean? Panicia quai. Okay. So it's a place I'm figuring out. I don't speak French. Ah, oh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Um, apparently, Panicia. A quai is a place. Okay. Other artists have done it. Paniche a quai. I'm going to assume that's the title of this painting. Rowan. I'm going to put the Rowan in here. Sure. Sure, I meant that. Uh, goodness. I wish I spoke French. Well, you know what? We're just going to go with what it tells us. It's, uh, we're just going to say titled and signed on back. And we're just going to say that. We're just going to say that. All right. Details. Now, your description includes some important keywords, which can help buyers locate your item. Would you like to add them to your listing? So French. Canvas, wood, sure, add those words. Um, it doesn't have a brand, but we do have an artist. Now, what will happen is if Cherish recognizes the artist, this will start to populate. If this artist is not on Cherish, then you can just hit unknown and because it's not in the catalog, which I wish they'd add everything or let us start adding some of this. But... Cherish is very protective of the information put in. They verify everything. So it's really, really accurate information. So let's do JP do bold. Let's just try do bold. Was it do bold? Do board. See, I'm already losing my mind. Do board. See? It's not. So we have to put unknown because they don't have it in there. The style is French. The style is, I think this is where we can put impressionism. Yes, impressionist. Okay, because you can put more than one style. Um, we've got the materials. So it's already picked canvas. It's picked wood. I wonder... If it wants us, yeah, paint, oil paint. There we go. We can add that. Um, dominant color. I'm going to go with blue. And then you can pick what kind of blue. And I'm just, I'm just not very good with my blues. So I'm just going to go with blue. Accent colors. I'm going to say white. White. It would be like the other accent color I would see in here. That's We're going to go with that. Art subjects. So this is an ocean scene or a harbor scene. Let's see what my choices are. Seascape. Seascape. We're going to go with seascape. Uh, it is framed. Place of origin. I, I'm going to go with, uh, we're going to go with France here. If we can find France on here. Oh, goodness. Let's see. France, France, France. Where are you, France? Where's France? How did I miss France? Okay, we're like way away from France. Let's go. Oh, there's France. Western Europe. And, okay, so dimensions. What did we say? We said that we are 24 inches wide. Oh, I'm going to call it 2 inches deep and 19 inches. Uh, these are unusual for this item. Well, they shouldn't be unusual because it's a painting. 
So, you know what? You, it's, it's okay to argue with these computer systems sometimes if they think that they know better than you. Yeah, I'm measuring. It's two inches. No, it really is because that's what paintings are. Choose period made. <clears throat> Do believe this is made in the 1960s. So we're going to go with mid 20th century. It is vintage, antique, or used. Uh, original condition, unaltered. Does it have imperfections? Some imperfections, yes. So describe that on the on the little, I don't even know what to call it, the little, the matting, but it's like the little strip around the matting has a little dent. Very small dent on the wood strip around the matting. Slight discoloration to matting. Painting. Painting itself is in very good condition. All right, logistics. This is where I got to give my asking price. You know what? I'm going to put it at $750. Why not? And the cool thing about Cherish is it's going to tell you how much you're going to make if you put it at that price. <clears throat> so it's, it's a single item. If it was, if you were selling a set of something or a pair of something, then you could select that. But this is an item, number of pieces included. Cherish gives you lots and lots of very user-friendly guides, which I love. Now, this is something you want to do. Remember that this is a trade website for uh, 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 decorators, home interior designers, all of that. So you want to give them a little perk. I just give 10%. It's not going to hurt me to give them 10%. It shows what the net price will be and still shows your earnings. <clears throat> They're saying a typical trade discount is 15 to 30%. If that's the case and you want to give a bigger discount, raise the price to reflect that. Um, that that's retail 101. By the way, any retail store that you think is not doing that, if they know they're going to offer you a discount, then they don't have very smart marketing people because that is how you do it. That is how you offset offering a psychological benefit to purchasing, which is a discount, you just build that into the price. Okay, reserve price. So I uh, will take at least $500 for this. And again, it's going to tell me that I would get $400 if I sell it for $500. Estimated retail price, I don't know. We don't know. So we leave that blank. You can put a SKU if you want to. Now, your shipping dimensions. So the way I do this is just to go, in this case, in a very expensive item, I'm going to go three inches bigger than the item itself. So I take my measurement, uh, 24, so I'm going to go 27. I'm going to go, I'm going to go six here, add just a little bit more because I don't want anything squishing it. And then the height was 19, so we're going to go 22. And there we go. Um, I used to use my church address before I got a P.O. box, so I do need to update this now since I actually have a P.O. box, but I never wanted to give out my home address. Um, so I am going to put, goodness, now I'm trying to remember what it is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> number 115. Number 299. Okay. Sweet. It's sweet. 115. I think. You know what? I have to check that. Stand by. What is my P.O. box? Do you know how sometimes you just draw just like a like a brain fart? <laughs> it's like, what is my address? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Fortunately, I put it into every one of my videos. It's sweet 
1115. What did I put? 115. That would have been bad. Okay, there we go. That's correct. And it's 89149. Oof. Okay. I will allow local pickup. Sure. Why not? I can offer local delivery. Now I do fill this out. You know why? Because if somebody is willing to pay me, I'll go within 20 miles and I will charge. I'll charge $50. That's a little bit of a deterrent. Why aren't you letting me put that in there? There we go. If somebody wants to pay me $50 to deliver it to their door, I'll do that. Um, but it's a deterrent, but yet it's a Look at the algorithm here. Look, I'm, I'm offering this perk. Okay, how would you like to handle shipping? I would like Cherish to arrange that shipping. And you have your choice. You can do either or here. Uh, it does fit into a box. And here we go. This is what it's all about, you guys. So for $15, that is what it would cost me to just drop this off at the UPS store. They will package it and have it on its way. Bada bing, bada boom. I am doing that because the $15 to me is totally worth it. Could I package this myself? Certainly. Uh, but at this stage in my life, when everything is a little chaotic, <clears throat> I'm going to go with easy and I'm just going to have it done professionally. So there we go. I am going to save this as a draft. I'm not going to make it live yet. And the reason for that is I want 20 items ready to go before I go live again because the difference in Cherish is that if you have 20 or more items listed, it is a 20% commission if something sells. If you have less than 20 items listed, it's a 30% commission. So what I will do is just make sure that I have at least I'll probably have it like 25 items in drafts because they also don't take every item that you submit. They curate. So you will learn what they take and what they don't take. Don't be upset if they kick something back and say this doesn't qualify. It's just a learning process. Learn the good things to put on there. You're like really good glass. You're really good art. You're really good pottery. Those kind of things. You're going to get a better price. And uh, just uh, check out Cherish. It's totally worth it. And now with that, I'm going to go get this video edited and actually have a video to go up again today. Man, I cannot wait until I get to go shopping again and get out there. But until then, I'm going to keep uh, bringing you my crazy life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support and your prayers and uh uh, we will overcome this and have a great rest of the year. I hope you all do too. Now with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.